Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. I updated the army a little bit. Uh, I looked at the available units because this is usually the time where we have access to more stuff. And uh, yeah, we spent some gold, but I guess we're gonna see. We have a, a better looking cam now. And uh, oh, that's the leaf cam. <laughs> uh, just, just go in there. So yeah, this is uh, yeah, that's the upgrade menu. And this is the deck. So this is the deck we're going to use right now. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I think we might tint too much. And of course, Gabor joined the party. And we have a Royal Decree and also Thunder. Uh, these are the new cards we found. So I guess we're just going to try it out. Uh, that's about it. Let's go. Let's go, guys. And we need to meet with Brewerhook. That's our big plan. Mahakam, welcome to you. What an honor. Even the Arbalists salute us with cocked quarrels. Oh, that well. An ounce of prevention saves a slag heap of trouble. <clears throat> um, well. Hey guys, what's up? Um. Oh, nice. Can they actually shoot me from up top? I mean, they can. None too shabby as views go, eh? Mmm. Were it not for the howling wind, I'd make a sketch. Right, let's see what we got. This is the scouting thing. Um, not much. New markers. Can the dwarves join my army? Will, will they join my army? They will. Why? Um, I guess we have nothing to fear. Uh, the dwarves are already joining us. Sure. I don't really use this travel thingy, but... I guess it's... Uh, <clears throat> nice to pick up. Ooh, can I? No, no, no. Can't. <gasps> no way! Well, Meave rode slowly, her surroundings interesting to her, her ears keen to take in the cacophony of sounds. The sharp whistle of wind rushing past towering peaks, the squeak of wagon wheels rolling over frozen snow, and the roar of beasts. What the... I dare not venture a guess. Hmm. Gabor scratched his chin. An ice troll. Or one of them Barbie Gazar Bajabas. These beasts, are they tame? As the dragon? <laughs> not in your life. Fierce horses, every last one of them. Spring cleaning year past, one year bit my arm clear off. <laughs> it's kind of silly that the <clears throat> dialogue starts with like, Oh yeah, we have this surrounding... Cophony of sounds, sharp whistle of wind, and by the way, a Barbagazi and uh, an ice troll. How about that? The Queen's brow rose in a silent inquiry. All oh, right, you don't quite get the context. Each spring, with the melting of the snows, a good bit of that filth comes out the ground. That's when Bruver Hoog summons all dwarves for spring cleaning. We cut down as much of the filth as we can. And that means relative calm the rest of the year. Out of the corner of her eye, Meave noted a dark shape darting between rock formations. Calmly, she drew her sword and brandished it a time or two to warm up her stiff arms. Seems it is our lot to assist you with this cleaning. Lyrians, arms at the ready. Prepare to fight. Wow, Bruver? Do not let Bruver die, you met the Shalmar. Bruver is actually... Wow. Bruver is the one that's getting attacked? I didn't know that. Alright, let's go. Special rules, short battle. Okay, sure. Um, pff, fine by me. Maybe we kick some of these thingies. It only works if we have... Way to set them on fire, which we do. This is a pretty strong hand. Okay. <clears throat> Stop standing around like corns on a toe. Get to work. Oh my god, what is this? Oh my god, this looks cool. Mighty Shelmar. 
Every three turns on third turn, randomly damage enemies by a portion of Shalmar's current armor. Then move to the other row. If on melee row, damage the highest enemy by this unit's current armor. If on the range row, damage the lowest enemy by this unit's current armor. Then set armor to eight. Okay. And I need to kill it? Oh, this is not gonna be... I suppose setting it on fire will not be the best. And I just need to save Brewer. My spirit's willing and how the... These damn brutes are killing me. And I can't move it. So it's gonna damage the highest enemy. So this is it. No, no, no. It's a range row. The lowest enemy. By three. So we can play Regiment Drummer. Left, right, left, right. Wait, what? Watch out! It's rolling out way! Oh, I see that. I need to kill the mighty Shelmar. Good thing that I don't have duel right now. I don't really have single target damage other than the Ultsus Thunder. Again and again and again. And again and again and again and again. And again. Alright, let's play these guys. Left, right, left, right. Oh, I, yeah, never mind that. We can move it. Okay, let's play this in the back. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Better move fire. Black Rayla. I'll fight to my last breath. I. Yeah, I'm a little concerned that maybe we have a, a bit too much deck thinning, but I guess we're gonna see. This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. You get a specific card. Which is something that I'm I'm thinking about quite a bit. So we can play Gabor here. We can make him deal 10 damage. And we can also make Rayla play the 10 damage card. At which point we will deal a lot of damage. You sure about that? We get the altar out. Maybe it's gonna die to the fire as well. No. Your Grace, luck. Be careful. Kick it back. <clears throat> Actually, I run out of blitz units. I, no, no, I still got one. It's not Blitz. Raise Bomber. Ah, uh, we could just use a Slinger, right? Thing about slings, they hide oh, this well. is Order as well? I, oh, will I damage myself? <laughs> Bring us victory. Oh my god, we can actually recharge the order of the slinger. I didn't even know that. That's kind of sick. Uh, fine. Is that it? All right. You got some splaining to do. I do? <laughs> All right. Gee, I guess. As the wails of speared Shalemars died down, the crowd of Mahakaman infantry parted. A dwarf stepped forth, gray as a snow fox, wrinkled as a prune. He walked with difficulty, supporting himself on a battle axe, its two heads dripping blood. If you if you can't walk around prop well, I I guess he's uh he's a little bit winded from the fight, but other than that he's fine. This would be our elder in chief, Bruver Hoog. 
Nice. I actually expected him just to uh, chillax in the the castle, but no, he's right here. God damn it! And who might your guests be, Gabor? Meve, Queen of Lydia and Rivia, and her associates in court. My regards, Elder. I come. Come on, Meve. You can't just stop there because that that's an awkward, awkward, you know. Place to put a pause. I'm, I'm just putting that out there, okay? You come for something. Coins my first wager. Fighting bodies my second. Well, <laughs> what is it you want? I'm on in the years, aye, but I'm not going dotty. Yeah, you men folk. You got to fall on hard times to remember us dwarves. Uh, <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> He's on to me. Reynard, say something obvious. I've come with a design in mind, I cannot deny. But hear me out and you shall see. I'm looking for coin and man. She's armed! Gabor! Why the devil did you let her in here like that? Armed without a sack or a heat! I'm sorry. I'm having a weapon and not a sack on my head. Please, I'm, I'm not that ugly, okay? She has the leaden ring, Elder. A gift from a king. From Demavand, lassie, I ken that already. Trust a man, give him something of value, and he'll go and give it away as easy as a street whore gives away nubs. It's a good thing he didn't pawn it. <laughs> Sons of humans. <clears throat> I'm not accustomed to interruptions. That's, I'm fine with that. Listen to me, my plea beg you. I don't know, that's... Ah, oh, let's go with that. I've traveled far to see you. Hear me out, I beg you. Yeah, let it be my loss. Go on, heave her away. Nilfgaard has overrun my realms. It has overrun Edurn. The Blackclads are at the foot of Mahakam. They will seek to overrun your land sooner or later as well. We must act. We must react together. While there is still time. Time? What do you care of time, lass? Got how many summers to you? Forty, maybe? Had you grown up amongst dwarven folk, at your age you'd be learning to crochet dolls. No more than that. <coughs> I've seen four hundred summers come and go. And I've been elder for two hundred. And you know what I've learned in that time? That meddling in your idiot scraps does not ever bring any good. <laughs> Damn. Rover Hook, I love you. Fucking. We need this guy. Come on, just kick me in the face and take over this army. <clears throat> now, on a normal day, I'd have you all thrown clear out of this land I love. But you've the leaden ring, and that grants you the right to hospitality. And here, in Mahakam, laws and rights are sacred. You may stay in the pass as long as you wish. Young Zigrin will serve as your guide. And once you've tired of the mountains, well, you can the way down into the valleys. I bet you farewell. My lord Elder, with all due respect, we came to your aid. We smote the beasts with you, yet... Holy shit. Reynard, going with the obvious. Come on, come on, go for the punch, Reynard. I, I wonder how he's gonna score this one. And who the demons is the son? Well, mm, listen to him. He has very important things to say to you. Count Reynard Odo. Yeah. Odo. <laughs> Ho ho odo lodo bodo <laughs> Now you listen and listen well. We didn't ask for aid, and you know why? Cause I've my dignity. Not like some Okay. <clears throat> Please, come on, Bruver Hog, just making fun of his name. I mean like I make fun of him a lot, but the is his name? Come on. If anything, that reminds me of Star Trek, so that's one thing that I don't make fun of, although I do sometimes think of Odo. Uh, Deep Space Nine, <coughs> of course.
still, yeah, Brewer Hawk, come on, he, he's, he makes sense, he, he, what did he say? He just stated something obvious, that he come to uh, your trade and uh, we spot the beast together. <laughs> yeah, we, we're practically allies already, he made a good point. Mates and wenches, spring cleaning's done, beast cullen's over, Mount Carbon beckons us home, follow me. Okay. Come on! I wanna... I wanna join you. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> it, it's a little awkward now. <clears throat> um, I guess we're just gonna stand here. Anyone got a pack of cards? <clears throat> no, nobody? Um, uh, nice view, huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, yeah I, I, I guess we will be going. Your Grace. Be not dismayed. We will find a way. No shit, Reynard. Oh my god. If only he, he would have said something instead of just, you know... Well, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> those words of encouragement uh, resonate with me, uh, Reynard. No, Reynard, we have lost. No. Yes, we must, we will. Manage we shall, true. Though damned if I know how. We have none other to whom we can turn, no other land where we can flee. Gabur is going to come up with the best advice here. Let us convene in council, Your Grace. Consider together what's to be done. We've yet Redania, Temeria. Your Grace, might I draw you aside a wee moment for a jabba? Uh, sure. Reynard, please excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that jabber means talk here. I mean, <clears throat> not... Um, let, let's just go. Well, what is it you want? I ken the elder in chief didn't make a good first impression. No, I, I, I think that's pretty, pretty much fair to say. I love that your <laughs> sign is a pipe. <laughs> and the second? Is it any better? Mm, to be quite frank, no. I'll try elsewise. Not all's lost, trust me. Brewer's a stubborn goat, no doubt about it. But a goat to be persuaded. And I happen to ken how. You do? Holy shit. You will actually give me advice? I'm totally not used to this. Black Raider is like, Let's kill everybody! And Reynard is like, Hmm, obvious things that just happen. He's like the Captain Obvious of the team. We need him, obviously, obviously. Gascon is like more like the, the goes with the snarky comments. Like he's not really giving me too much value anyway. But if you actually have some input here, I would love to hear it. Uh, yes, I would love to hear about it. Very well, I'm all ears. What must we do to spur Bruverhoog to aid us? Hmm. I might start with the thorn in our side that are beasts. A bigger thorn than most expect. Oh, impress him with beast slang. I like that. You know, not just talk, but actions. I'm very interested. See, in our never-ending search for gold, we dug deep. Too deep. And reached abysses where monsters are born, or however they come to be. I see. Soon as it turns a bit warmer, they crawl out to feed. And there's more every year. What you saw there, the spring cleaning, that's just light yearly upkeep. It done not go at the source of the blight. Hmm. But if you can take out the source, that could be... That could uh, <coughs> really help people out around here. Gabor, this sounds like a good idea. Of course, begs the question... Uh... If we can do it ourselves, how, why didn't the dwarves do it before? Every spring we cull enough so we can live and trade and mine normal like. But there are corridors in the upper valleys midst the peaks where more lie waiting to pounce. So many, there's settlements that have done been abandoned. I still fail to see how this relates to myself and Bruva. He. Oh, God. Okay, Gabor, make this obvious, please. Your Majesty, 
Slay the beasts down to the last, and you'll win the hearts of the clans. All of them. And with the clans behind you, why? The Elder will have no choice. He'll bend an ear, treat you serious. Exactly. Now what, me? You've got two sites through which beasts swarm in great numbers. There's Daver's Abyss and an abandoned underground settlement called Burr's Rump. Destroy those, collapse the corridors, problem solved. All right. That would be enough? Yeah. Why didn't Brewer do it? Hmm. You colour the solution as simple and known. Why has Bruver Hoog not gone at the matter? Yeah, I mean, it's a good idea. But, yeah, kind of begs the question. <laughs> you must learn one thing about us dwarves of Mahakam. Customs, traditions, why, we're obsessed. Goes thrice for Bruva. The Elder deliberates weeks on end. And that's in considering if we shouldn't wear suspenders, because they might be through its side, and should thus be forbidden. We've a set of laws, the Four Dwarves Codex. One of its tenants says, Dare ye not close a corridor once oped? <laughs> so, no self-respecting dwarf can nor will do it. But you... Wait, what? It's not even considered? Because it's some kind of minor code? You're free out with. The laws didn't apply. You have a free hand in sealing the corridors from which the beasts come. Collapse them. Flood them, I didn't ken. But solve the grief once and for all. I like you, Gobbert, quite a lot. Alright. I'm in. That would be enough. And this, t'would suffice. I believe it would. Uh, but, but, but find you other ways to win the heart of a clan or Bruver himself. Do so. Can he bring no harm? Alright, we, we call this plan A. Hmm. All this sounds rather toilsome, yet... I do favour this to losing another moon seeking out a court where we would at first be welcomed, only later to hear another rebuke. You've my gratitude, Gabor. You've shown me a way. Very well. Let us think on these beasts. See what's to be done. very least, I should... Well, I'm gonna help out the dwarves. They're gonna help me with... Because they're honorable, and... Yeah, why not? This this is a good plan. I like it. Oh. More beasties. Boros I've run. I've come to the conclusion your elder-in-chief is not fond of guests. Fond? That's near the quarter of it. He hates them with seething passion. But you're damned lucky. Why is that? Legend, didn't he? Mahakam was cordoned off completely through the outside world for many a long year. Clans finally forced Bruva to at least let in peddlers and emissaries. <laughs> Though he dragged his feet as long as he could. <laughs> Damn it, Bruva, you're so stubborn. We got a battle over there. We got a fisherman. Quiet, wench. Off. Well, <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> my queen, there are bodies of dwarves, mi dwarven miners trapped beneath the ice sheet, likely swallowed by the river. It's too late for them now, but their equipment is recoverable. Though bear in mind, should any fall in, they would freeze to death in the blink of an eye. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Have our men recover the gear? Oh, we get a card fragment? Let's do it. Well, I have to do it for the card fragment. Apparently we lost two guys for that. Well, we're not gonna tell the people that, you know, uh, you might fall in. <clears throat> I mean, obviously, they will not fall in. <laughs> Hopefully. We're gonna have a big fight ahead of us. Checking the map. But it's pretty obvious where we're gonna go. It's pretty linear at this point. And next is... Oh, that's Boru's Rump. Anyway, uh, this is a good time to take a break. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.